Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said Wednesday that Russia urges all sides of the conflict in the Middle East to act with restraint. During a weekly briefing with members of the press, Peskov stressed that the situation is progressing in the most alarming scenario, adding that Russia condemns any actions that result in the deaths of civilians. The Middle East moved closer to a long-feared regional war the day after Iran fired a barrage of missiles at Israel. Earlier this week, Israel said it began limited ground incursions into Lebanon targeting the Iran-backed Hezbollah militia. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed late Tuesday to retaliate against Iran, while a top Iranian military commander warned that his country will hit Israel's entire infrastructure if it takes any action against its territory. The United Nations Security Council called an emergency meeting for Wednesday to address the spiraling conflict. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire across the Lebanon border almost daily since October 8, the day after Hamas cross-border attack on October 7, 2023, which killed 1,200 Israelis and took 250 others hostage. Israel declared war on the militant group in the Gaza Strip in response. More than 41,000 Palestinians have been killed in the territory, and just over half the dead have been women and children, according to local health officials. Эта ситуация развивается по наиболее тревожному сценарию. Мы призываем все стороны к сдержанности на фоне того, что происходит. И, конечно же, мы осуждаем любые действия, которые ведут к гибели гражданского населения. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Tuesday led a ceremony on the Day of Defenders of Ukraine to honor the country's military. During his address, he described the soldiers fighting in the military as people of great courage who are unbreakable and brave in defending Ukraine. Today is a great day. The day of defenders of Ukraine. Your day. The day of those who make tomorrow possible. Thanks to whom Ukraine exists and we are standing here on our land, in our capital, under our flags. Thanks to whom life will prevail, said Zelensky. The president also handed out awards to members of the military. A minute of silence was then observed across the country to pay respect to those who had died fighting for Ukraine. Zelensky. Слава Україні! Сьогодні великий день. День захисників і захисниць України. Ваш день, день тих, завдяки кому настає завтра, завдяки кому є Україна, а ми стоїмо тут, на своїй землі, у своїй столиці, під своїми прапорами. Завдяки кому життя переможе. Завдяки вам. Незламні та хоробрі люди великої Відваги, які роблять велику справу, захищають Україну. Dock workers at ports from Maine to Texas have started walking picket lines in a strike over wages and automation that could reignite inflation and cause shortages of goods if it goes on more than a few weeks. The contract between the ports and about 45,000 members of the International Longshoremen's Association expired at midnight, and even though progress was reported in talks on Monday, the workers went on strike early Tuesday. The strike is affecting 36 ports. The U.S. Maritime Alliance, which represents the ports, said Monday evening that both sides had moved off of their previous wage offers, but when picket lines went up just after midnight, it was apparent there was no deal. 